Uh, my name's Ian Wilson. I'm 54 and I'm from Bournemouth originally, but I now live here, as you can see, on a narrowboat because I've been watching this um, dictatorship unfold or this totalitarian tiptoe, as David Icke calls it. And uh, I think um, I bought this narrowboat about a year ago because I, th I thought to myself, our freedoms are quickly going, and I've got to get I've got to get out there. I've got to be mobile. I've, I need to um, be able to move around. So I think the cities and towns are not going to be a nice place to live. This is this is last March. I thought this. So I gave up work. I I got a divorce from my wife because I couldn't I couldn't handle it. She'd get up in the morning, she'd watch the news every day, she'd follow it. I tried to explain to her that it's the news is completely and utterly bad for your mind and body. She ended up getting cancer, to be honest, and uh, I helped her through the cancer. And then she still put the news on and watched all the negative stuff. And I thought, I can't live with this. I had to get out. So I bought this narrowboat. Luckily, I'd saved up over the years because it's been an idea in my head for a long time. I was able to buy this, just get away. Just get away and get my head together. So I haven't been working. I've not been... Uh, I've just been bumming around uh, the UK trying to get my head around what's going off. And then this, I was, I was stuck in Oxford for for uh, six months because the Thames was flooded. And in that time, uh, the coronavirus broke out at the end of this, this time I was stuck there. And I flew back in from Berlin. I went to see my son in Berlin and I flew back in. And I thought to myself, and the and the virus broke out while I was in Berlin, and I flew back and I thought, if this, this is virus is so serious, why is nobody wearing masks? Why are we being allowed to walk through the airports without any masks, without anything? We got through the airport, no one was bothered. And I thought, this is absolutely insane, something is going off here. So I got back into the UK, and while in Ox stuck in Oxford, I, went, I cycled down to Oxford... I cycled down to Oxford um, Hospital, and um, there's just nobody about. It's completely, utterly empty. This was in the height of the. It's supposed to be, hospital supposed to be jammed full of people, and I, I cycled down to Oxford, and uh, the hospital there, and no one was about. And I filmed it, and I rode around the, the grounds, and I couldn't see anybody to be honest. And I, I just think this whole thing is absolute and utter scam so that's just a quick message from me and uh, Anna Anna your work is absolutely amazing and I love to follow your show so thanks ever so much for your work and God bless you and all the people that's uh, involved in this you know the, this movement uh, of, of waking up it's perhaps it's a good thing this virus perhaps the virus is a virus of the mind you know waking the mind up perhaps it's a good thing Thanks a lot. Cheers.